This was a tragedy, but it was a preventable tragedy. That's the core uh, thing I learned from this. I knew that my brother had, uh, had a tragic life, but I didn't know that it was a preventable tragedy until I looked at all these records. When uh, he could just not bear it anymore, this is four years after this picture was taken, uh, he'd, he left my parents' home where he, where he was staying and drove to Topeka, which is 70 miles uh, west of Kansas City, and uh, called my parents, uh, said he was in Topeka, at a, parked in front of a hospital, didn't see which hospital, didn't, didn't say where in Topeka, and uh, so they got in their car and they drove out to Topeka and, and searched all the hospitals in Topeka until they found him. He was sitting naked uh, in his uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, and they took him into the, uh, this is at the uh, Topeka VA, and this is the same, same time that uh, Dr. Godfrey was having his LSD uh, experiments for the, for the mentally ill. I didn't know that he had uh, been treated with LSD. My mother told me at one point that he had been, but uh, I, he may have told me in 74, but I probably dismissed it thinking he was psychotic as this hallucination. But that story about him going to Topeka just haunted me and I just needed to get to the bottom of it. And so that was the start really of my investigation as to what happened to my brother, how he went from being, uh, having post-traumatic stress disorder to, to um, psychosis while I was in the care of the, of, of the uh, VA psychiatrist. Uh, I'm hoping that this will uh, come to light in maybe a congressional investigation.